uh, elation is a good way to describe it. Um, I thought that I had a really good chance at getting it because of the interview process. I had a really good feeling about it. I've done a lot of interviews this year, um, not all for Salesforce, some for other ones. And you know, you just kind of get that feeling where you're like, oh, I didn't really do too well. But this one I felt really good about and I was really excited. I picked up the phone and they said I had the job and I was just baffled. You know, I was like, this worked. Talent Stacker works. <laughs>
that I had to be comfortable being in the uncomfortable. You have to lean into it. If you don't know, reach out. The part that was very difficult for me was learning the application. Sometimes people are able to pick it up by doing the trailhead trail and earning those super badges and they just retain it really well. I wasn't one of those. I had to use external resources and to continue to learn. I'm not yet certified, so I'm still learning. And I think the beauty of the Salesforce ecosystem is that it's just a continually learning environment. So that's something that I really enjoy and that I took from being something that was very hard to turn into a positive experience. Be open to learning and accept uh, advice that's given to you and take it wholeheartedly and run with it. Um, and I say that because of my experience and what I've been through with this journey. So things that I would recommend um, for anybody who is starting off in this journey, a few things to take to heart would be to do those informational interviews. Reach out to people in the Salesforce ecosystem. You might not know them, but that's part of the embracing the uncomfortableness of it all. Reach out to those people, ask them about their experience, learn from it. Um, I would also say to go with that, to deep dive into the ecosystem. It's not just learning about being an administrator, it's learning about the Salesforce ecosystem as a whole. So make sure that you're taking advantage of the Trailblazer community, of all of the awesome admin items that are available and resources. I would also say that um, not everybody picks up Salesforce the same way. Make sure you utilize other resources that are available and don't put all the pressure on yourself. You're learning, you're learning at your own pace. Even if it's one new concept a day, you're still learning. Um, other things I would say would to be open to opportunities that you may not necessarily be ready yet just for, but take that step. Do the career fair if it comes up. Do a program if it comes up. You'll learn something and you'll get something out of it. So be, be comfortable being in the uncomfortable and new, a new learning opportunity. There are many things that I find value about, valuable about the Talent Stacker community. Um, many of them being the resources that are provided, uh, the pacing guide and the interviews that are, that are there, and also the resources that are shared with the members. Um, a lot of the things that I find uh, valuable come from the, the other students. I found my opportunity with my current employer by another student sharing uh, online that this opportunity was there. If I wasn't part of Talent Stacker, I wouldn't have been connected to that person and I wouldn't have known it was there. So there's a lot of value to be brought with the Talent Stacker Career Development Program. Talent Stacker, Choose FI, Salesforce. It's changed my life in a way that I never thought was possible. Um, I never had the uh, ability to earn as much as I'm earning now um, with my previous employer and also to learn and continue to learn as much as I'm able to with Salesforce. So overall, I would say to anybody listening that Salesforce changed my life and I would encourage you to look into it and to take those steps to go ahead and change yours too.